Today we're going to do our everyday makeup routine. Today's one is going to be literally high-end makeup. You know, we're a little booty now. <laughs> um, I'm kidding. But yeah, they're all high-end products. So I'm going to share with you guys my new everyday makeup routine. Brows are done, completed. If you guys want to see how I do my brows, it might be before or after this video. Somewhere on my channel, look for it. It'll probably be there. Now on my face, I'm going to moisturize it. I'm going to use my Body Shop Vitamin E moisture cream. Um, I love this stuff. I'm gonna go in with primer. The primer that I love and I use it treat every day. My MUA Pro Base Hydrate Primer. I love the smell of tea tree oil in it as well. And I love the smell of that. So I just apply that to my skin. I'm quite generous with it. Foundation, I've been using my NARS foundation in the shade Namibia. This is the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I've been using this now for a good couple of weeks and I absolutely love it. I'm going to use a foundation brush, just a dense, tightly packed foundation brush, and I'm just going to apply that to my skin. <laughs> It does look kind of red when I first put it on, but trust me, you guys, once I start blending it in, it settles down to like such a nice colour on me. Then I also use the Fenty bronzer in Mokumami in my crease just to give me a bit of like definition, a bit of colour, a bit of bits that I'm up there. So I just bought these lashes, aren't they so fabulous? These are from Shy Beauty. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Too Faced concealer in Chestnut. This is a really, really high coverage concealer. And this photographs really, really, really well. I think this is why I really like it. I'm just gonna start applying. And I apply this just like I apply my usual concealer. So I like to just give like a nice, a generous layer. I go down the sides of my nose and then I just connect everything up make sure there's no gaps I'm going to use my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge um, love this for blending in my concealer it's kind of damp it's not damp to where it's like you can squeeze water out of it but it is damp and I just blend out the edges first. I'm literally just tapping on the product lightly to make sure it's blended but I'm not like moving it because I want the coverage to be very very high here. To bronze slash contour I'm still using my Revolution Concealer in C18. I'm just gonna literally mark where i want the contour to be it's kind of a messy application but that's just because i don't want the contour to be super like constructed and like sharp like i want it to be like a blend i squeeze my beauty blender this way like so it's like that and then i blend out my contour We're gonna go ahead and do our nose contour and i still like using my foundation stick it's my favorite thing so just use a foundation stick that's your shade or a shade or two dark well not your shade i'm gonna say one shade or half a shade darker than you if the Too faced can um sealer like the dofa is super big so every time you take out the container it takes out so much concealer so i hate wasting so i just use a bit of mac nw40 the way i like to blend is to blend my highlight first so i go into the top of my highlight bottom and then i just use the side and just diffuse the concealer then we're gonna tap down the sides 
and then blend them upwards and bring them around to our brow bone so that everything is consistent so up around really high highlight and contouring guys it's just all about like creating illusions to your face structure for setting powder today i'm actually using a new setting powder i heard really great things about it so i'm sure it's gonna be amazing the huda beauty easy bake loose powder in kunafa um i wasn't sure what shade i was in but i'm sure oh i'm sure this is a good shade so this huda beauty actually looks quite similar to the sasha so i'm pretty happy with it if anything it's a little bit it might be a little bit deeper or they're just very similar i can't really tell the difference and i'm just going to use it just as i would use any other powder so i'm actually going to dip my foundation brush in there and just start pressing it into my under eye and this for me just gives me the best finish rather than baking um i always used to be against baking but i think if you set your under eyes and then bake after that could work so we're gonna try it out today i'm just gonna pack this on top and it has a fragrance i'm not sure how i thought, feel about the fragrance like it kind of gives me like grandma vibes like this fragrance i'm not gonna lie So that side one after setting it looks amazing. Hmm, this powder is doing really good things. Love that. So we're just gonna go to the other side. Okay, so that's under eyes set. Looking okay, amazing. So I'm gonna use the same powder, and I'm actually gonna go over my forehead, just because you guys can see it's very radiant, and I like my forehead to be matte. So I'm just going to sprinkle. I'm actually also going to use a brush and just put some over my eyes. Because like I said earlier, it does catch quite a bit of oils. I can already see it like starting to catch some. So What I've been loving to do recently is like baking my nose highlight just so it's more prominent. So drugstore, I'm going to go to drugstore again, I'm using my Revolution Banana Powder, um, I'm just going to actually use the powder, and literally bake around my nose. So this just gives me an extra snatch, which I like, so I leave that to bake. Now I'm going to bronze my skin. You guys should already know if you know me from my channel, using Mocha Mami. And I'm just going to use a powder brush. i just bring that in. And bronzer, like, gives me such a nice cheekbone. I feel like I've been eating all the snacks lately, so I really do love a good bronzer like contour type moment bring it up forehead just give me good action i do overdo it a little bit on the bronzer i'm not gonna lie i just love it sorry i'm a bronzer girl now who would have thought who would have thought a dark skinned girl would have been a bronzer girl like i never thought that was even possible growing up it's crazy so um these lashes though oh my gosh can't wait to do my hair i'm gonna reverse contour with the huda beauty kanafa i don't usually like to contour anymore like the most i contoured was with the revolution c18 it was kind of just to bring the warmth back into my skin it really wasn't to define my cheekbones so i just used the setting powder of twice and just kind of go under here give me a little bit of definition so now i'm just going to go ahead and put some mascara my little lash line can i just say though this huda beauty powder is really really good okay so that's my eyes done i'm actually obsessed with these lashes like i just don't even know what to do with myself like 
Oh, <laughs> I'm doing too much. Okay, let me get rid of this stupid con contour. It looks crazy. I'm just gonna use my foundation brush and just blend that away. And you want to make sure when you do reverse contouring that you really blend it away because you don't want that flashback when you take your pictures that like basically like a white moustache and moustache beard you don't want like, that snow beard that you get when you get flashback so make sure you blend that in and then for my nose contour i'm just gonna wipe this away and just kind of press at it rather than like sw swiping it i'm just gonna press at it because i think swiping it would like i don't know I don't know, I, don't, I feel like that motion just wouldn't be good. It's time to highlight the skin. Of course, I'm gonna be using my Shy Beauty highlighter in Shy Glow. At this point, um, I just used some MAC powder, my MSF, my good old faithful. And I just used a powder brush, just set around my mouth. my neck and yeah that's basically it i just set my face i use the morphe setting mist and i just cover my eyes because i hate when setting spray get on my lashes or like anywhere on my eyeshadow if i have any powder on my eyes because it just i don't know i don't like how it looks so i just use my morphe i just use a cotton round and get all the extra foundation off my lips I can't wait till summer because my lips have been suffering this winter like the evil you have done is enough I'm ready for springtime for lips I'm using a brown lip liner and I'm actually going to use a clear gloss from Shy Beauty today just what I do on it every day um or I'd use like my Fenty gloss or any gloss that's like a nude dish like almost clear So yeah, this is the finished makeup look. I just threw in a white shirt because I just feel like white just complements the look and just gives you more focus on the face. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this everyday makeup tutorial. I feel like a good lash is absolutely imperative for like a clean glam like this. A good lash is absolutely imperative. You can't get away from it. Like, it's important. Um, again, these lashes are from my website. If you guys are interested, it's always in the description box. As long as all... As long as that makes sense? Along with all the other products I used on my face. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a nice thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video.